a land nor to put in any other theme if our papa has provided a theme na higo kwe manyizo obutacha okutaba omuchogo nakwe ngatta ko dadango musumba fa ino muchogo abadata dewo if he has introduced a theme baba ino muchogo nakwa abatu anjulide i've learned that we are building on the same building na higa anti fena to simba to simba chizimbe chichimu and there is no reason why i should bring any other theme or no te wali nsonga te wachi nange mbande eto omuto omulala so if he introduces a theme i just have to take time and go and study that theme and then we pick it from there oh I add the block a brick on it. Katino watwangu watwangu yiro mutwenze chintwala bitwalizi kadde kugenda kuchisomako oba kuchigata ko tafaji. Last week he introduced the theme saying the kingdom of God is for warriors. Wike wedde yaleta wo mutoko gamba nto baka baka bakatonda bwaba bwaba nagwano. And that is where we're going to begin from. Era wo tugenda kutanikira we. That is what we're going to study today. Kinyi nte tugenda kusomako olwa leero. That is what we're going to preach about. Nte tugenda kubudirako. Let's turn our Bibles into the book of Judges chapter 11. Tubikole Bibles za from chapter eight aba mateka esule ko minolumu. We're going to read from verses 1. Up to verses 11. And I believe that the Lord will do us good. We're going to read the first because of time. I'm going to read the first four verses. Three verses. And then after that, we'll read the last part. As we continue the message. Let me see any person. Let me. I believe every person here. You have your own Bible. If you have a Bible, lift up your hand. God bless you. And if you don't have a Bible, make sure you work out a plan to have a Bible. You can sell one of your shoes and have a Bible. You can sell one of your shirts, one of your trousers, one of your dresses, and have a Bible. In Jesus name. Our time is fast spent. One of the reasons why I always prefer being the programmer for this morning service is that <laughs> by nine the preacher is supposed to be on the pulpit. Now Jephthah the Gilead was a mighty man of valor. And the vision says a warrior but he was the son of a harlot. Mark that. And Gilead begat Jephthah Gilead wife bore sons and when his wife's son grew up they drove Jephthah out and said to him you shall have no inheritance in our father's house for you are the son of another woman Then Jephthah fled from his brothers and dwelt in the land of Tob and worthless men banded together with Jephthah and went out raiding with him That's the first part of the raiding we need to realize in the kingdom of God the kingdom of God is not meant for people who are weak it is not meant for weaklings as much as God appoints and picks people who are nobodies God does not does not does not want us or he doesn't expect us to remain the same way he has picked us when we were nobodies. And that's the reason why he says I pick you from being a nobody so that I may ashamed those people who think they are somebodies. He picks us who have nothing. And then he shapes us to become the best that we are to become. God gives us instructions on a daily basis. It is only that people sometimes fail to realize the instructions of God. But on a daily basis God has a specific instruction for our lives. And it is up to us to discern that specific specific instruction and work it out. God does not concentrate on what you have. 
out. He concentrates in what he has for you in store. I repeat it again. God is not looking at what you have. God is looking at what he has for you in store. And because he knows what he has in store for you, he has the confidence to know that he is going to make you whatever he has purposed But you must follow his instructions. If you fail to follow the instruction of God, there is no way you are going to attain what he wants for you. Every warrior is not born a warrior. It takes time for the warriors to be trained. It takes time for the warriors to be shaped. It takes time for them to be trained. It takes time for somebody to sit down and listen to the instruction. For me, some of the people who are here will say maybe 60% or 70% or even 90% have ever been to school. Even if they did not qualify, and there is one day at least they went to school. Praise the name of the living God. Praise the name of the living God. You may not have passed, but you went to school. And the way they form the school, it is to shape or to bring discipline, to instill discipline in your life so that you can attain a specific qualification or a specific discipline. They don't qualify you on the first day you go to school. Apart from marriage, on a wedding day, where I know it's the only institution they give you a certificate as you enter into the institution, there is no any other institution that they give you a qualification as you're beginning the journey. In a believer's life, God expects us to increase on a daily basis. God expects us to have an increase in our lives on a daily basis. God does not expect you to be the same way you were last year. And that's the reason why he has set days, he has set seasons and times. Because he operates in this season knowing that at each and every particular season there is an addition which is supposed to be put upon your life. But when we fail to discern what God is doing in a specific season we cannot fully reach what or we cannot fully have the potential that God has realized in us. Praise the name of the living God. We have so many living testimonies in this ministry. So many testimonies beginning from our pastor way down until the last person if you want to be the last person. But I don't believe we have a last person I believe God has called us as servants, has called us as sons and daughters in his house. I believe God has something specific for each and every one of us. I believe that we are children of God in this house. I know one thing for sure. That whatever he has purposed in his or our life, he will bring it to pass in the name. You may have some way where you feel that you have been put down and you feel things are not working out. But that does not stop the plan of God upon you. Circumstances and situations may put you down. But that does not stop the plan of God in your life. Our stories talks about a man of God called Jephthah. And it gives us an introduction part. And it says that Jephthah 
Jonah was a mighty man. But he was a son of a harlot. Hamas, as much as he was a mighty man, as much as he was a warrior, but he was a son of a harlot. That as if is not enough. A moment of time reached. The mother got married to another man. And he went with the son. And then he stayed with his son for some time. And in that second marriage or the third marriage, I don't know. He produced other sons. And when he bore these sons, they matured. They looked at their inheritance. And they said, we cannot share our inheritance with this man. Who is a son of a harlot. But the same person they are calling a harlot. Is their mother. You know, sometimes people fail to realize things. I always tell you, if there is a war between your mother and your father, please don't intervene in their war. Don't be part of the war. Never allow yourself to be part of a war between your father and your mother. They have existed longer than before you came. They've been on this earth more than you've been here. They've seen more than you have seen. You are not there when they are making their covenant. You are not there when they are agreeing to become a man and a husband. You are not there. So in their differences, you should not be part of it. The brothers of Jephthah. They decided to take a sign. And allow their mother to stay. They allow the mother to stay. But they pushed away Jephthah. They said that you are the son of another woman. And he fled and dwelt in a land called Tob. But listen to this. Worthless men were bonded to him. People without anything were bonded to him. God does not take people who have something and binds them with people who have something. He always takes the nobodies, joins him and joins them with nobodies because he is doing some job inside them and he wants them to be part of the testimony. God is going to promote in whatever position he's going to put you in. But as smart as he's promoting you, there are people who are always going to be watching over you. There are people who are always going to be saying that we start together. There are people who are going to say that you saw an open door and you went through it. Not because you decided to settle for less. But you decided to go for an extra mile. You decided to go for something more. Which they did not possess at that moment of time. Listen to this. All of us whether we like it or not, we are not equal. There are statements I make and I want them to sink in your mind. All of us we are not equal. We are different. But we can choose to go for the highest standard if we choose. Amen. I'll repeat that. As much as we are not equal, the moment we make a decision, we are not going to remain the same way we are. We choose to push forward. Our level increases on a daily basis. 
there are things naturally whether you choose to be part of them or not they have to occur or to happen whether you choose to grow you don't choose to grow age is coming to catch up with you but there are things you must choose to do there are things you must decide that I am going to be part of those ones who are warriors warriors do not sit down and wait every warrior has a story just they don't you just need to sit down and listen to their story they have stories known with their own people and that's the reason why warriors are not honored by their own people Jesus said in the book of Mark chapter that a prophet has no honor in his hometown because these people know he was the particular date he was born at he was born in a place which is not good sometimes they believe they have to have the same the same same opportunities as he had sometimes they feel that this man has taken over all the opportunities which it is very possible to have 10 sons and all the 10 sons are positioned in the first position but the moment something enters into their mentality and they think that because one is coming up because he's working so much because he's doing something better and they think that that is the way it's supposed to be and they start concentrating on the victory of this one man, they start failing. Praise the name of the living God. So these guys look at the inheritance. They looked at the valor of Jephthah. They looked at his mightiness. They looked at all things which were happening in his life. And they started complaining on the little inheritance they were going to have. And they forgot one thing. It was not just any other person. He was not just any other brother. He was not just like any other He was a warrior. Warriors are trained to survive in whatever circumstances you put them. Warriors are trained to survive in whatever area you put them. Warriors are meant to survive in whatever area you put them. Praise the name of the living God. You put them in a jungle without food they will bring you food without saucepan and without a matchbox. They are trained how to survive. Listen to this child of God. I don't know what message you've heard. I don't know what gospel you've heard. But one thing you need to know once you enter salvation it is a journey of bishop to become a warrior. It is a journey to become a warrior. If we had the opportunity to work you all out at the same time we would do that. If we had an opportunity to house you in the same place, we will do that. Because once we do that, it is easier to monitor each and every step. But glory be to God who has given us the Holy Spirit who is without measure. But wherever we are, He can monitor us. Wherever we are, He can do whatever He purposes in our lives. They chased their brother. And they forgot. Warriors don't settle for the status quo. They fight their way to the top. God speaks to his servant Jeremiah. And he tells him, you are my battle axe. And you are the weapon of war. For with you I will break nations into pieces. And with you I will destroy kingdoms. Listen to this. Once you join this army of believers, you are a gold's battle axe. You are joint warriors you need to start behaving like a warrior you need to start behaving like a warrior 
you need to start behaving like if you got someone sympathizing with you, you this is not a journey for sympathy. This is a journey for struggle. This is a journey for going through. This is a journey for overcoming. Because each day, there is a victory that God has in our lives. The witness are not that need for this victory. This victory is added to the people that decided that they are going to overcome. Any person who sits in a position thinking that they are going to overcome. I'm telling you, you're going to remain the same way you are. The only thing that is going to be added on to you it is going to be your interest. And you say all that time. They just got on time. Well, they passed. Because you decided to speak. And they decided to go forth. You decided to speak. They decided to go forth and do something. It is up to you to choose. Let no body deceive Let nobody deceive you. Any successful person, it is not by chance. Oh. God gives us equal opportunities. There is a man who entered into into this city the same day Baraga entered this city. Baraga chose to go with God. The man chose upon his degree and all the other things that he had. He chose a different path. And after this time that we are talking about, the other man returned to the village. But Baraga is in the city. With the family. With his own land. His piece of land. What is the difference? Success is predictable. What is the difference? Success is predictable. You can predict success. You can also predict failure. If somebody refuses to be part of you, when you have chosen to go for success, don't console yourself. Choose to go for a greater height. And you are going to overcome in the name of Jesus. When Jephthah went and he was just away, the men who understood this is the man of valor. They understood he's a warrior. And they chose to go with him. As much as they were nobody, they chose to come Judges chapter 11, verses 5. Let's, let's finish the remaining text because our time is up. It came to pass after a time that the people of Ammon made war against Israel. And so it was when the people of Ammon men war against Israel that the elders of Gilead went to get Jephthah from the land of Tob. Then they said to Jephthah, come and be our commander that we may fight against the people of Ammon. So Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, did you not hate me and expel me from my father's house? Why have you come to me now when you are in a distress? And the elders of Gilead said to Jephthah, that is why we have turned up. We have turned again to you now that you may go with us and fight against the people of Ammon and be our head over all the inhabitants of Gilead. So Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, if you take back, if you take me back home to fight against the people of Ammon and the, and the Lord delivers them to me, shall I be your head? And the elders of Gilead said to Jephthah, the Lord will be a witness between us if we do not do according to your word. Then Jephthah went with the elders of Gilead and the people made him the head and commander over them. And Jephthah spoke all these words before the Lord in Mizpah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Let me make a statement here. Before you chase out somebody, make sure you're not chasing your direction to victory. Because 
before you kick out somebody out of your house make sure you're not chasing or you're not kicking out the direction to your victory these people chased out Jeff. and when they chased him out they looked as the winners they found themselves to see they appeared it appeared to them as if they were conquerors but it was just a matter of time and war became war came upon them and they remembered there is a gift that we chest. There is somebody that we chest. There is somebody that we did not do good. And they had to run for Jephthah. Every one of us, there is a gift upon our lives from God. Everyone seated here, there is a gift of God on your life. I will repeat it for the third time. Everyone here, there is a gift of God upon your life. But the activation of that gift is or is in God himself. And that's the reason why you need the daily bread from God. That's the reason why you should not be a person of history. You should not be a person of saying that we pray. You need to be saying that we are praying. You need to be among the group that says we are praying. Not in the group that says that we pray. Warriors don't dwell in the past tense. They don't concentrate on their past victory. But they, consolidate, they consolidate their past victory. And they concentrate on it to be to have a better victory. To be in a better place. To be in a better place. To be in a better place. They only use their past as a reference. That God is more than able to transform people. Don't dwell in your past. Don't dwell in your past. If you don't have to come to the world, you turn to your neighbor and you slap them. But you can still do it on your feet. And you say, I'm not going to dwell in the past. You will stand up on your feet. Won't you stand up on your feet? You're going to stand up on your feet. Tell your neighbor, I'm not going to dwell in my past. Tell your neighbor, I'm not going to dwell in my past. I'm not going to dwell in my past. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't want to dwell in the past. 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 I don't want to Help that lady to raise up on her feet. <laughs> he tells them if I have more authority tomorrow I would have gathered you all and put you in a camp. And I made you three days for three months. By the time you come out the army would have trained. It would have been a mighty army. It will be an army that is not me. It will be an army that is not lagging behind. In Jesus' name. Son of the living God. There is power in God. Which can make you whatever he has purposed. Don't have a way to forgive you. Don't have a way to forgive you. People have weakness that they concentrate on. And they make it as if it's a cane. Even if you want to pull them out. Pastor, do you know that I was not educated? Pastor, don't you know? That you cannot manage that. But there is a reason as to why the Lord has brought it in your church. Because you know that there is a capability. There is a capability within you that can become what God proposed you to be. Warriors don't sit. They rise up. Even when they lose a battle, even if they lose they a battle, they don't look at the loss. They, they look, look at the victory ahead of them. You can have your seat. In Jesus' name. 
We were chosen by God. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 15, God himself says, you did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. And that your fruit should remain. And that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. God himself chose us. No matter how you're born. No matter which district and which village you're born. There's some things which I normally look at, which the some updates and some people who normally send some pictures on WhatsApp sometimes. And Lately they've been posting a picture of a, of a, of a, of a child wearing tattered clothes and standing in front of a mad house and saying, please, when you see us trying to struggle, don't, don't fight us. We've come from far. We've come from far. This journey is a race. You are not competing with any person. You are competing for your destiny. And the warriors attain the destiny. Our battles are different. Our battles are different. But one thing we know. One thing we know. We were all chosen by God. 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 We did not choose ourselves. God Himself chose us. And He's going to make us conquerors. He is shaping us into victors. He is bringing victory into our lives. It is up to you to console yourself and remain on the same that you are or to join the victims. This Bible has no weakling. The Bible we read the people that overcame Way from the Genesis to the Revelation they are overcomers and conquerors. And mind you the things that help warriors to fight and overcome if they are given by God himself they seem to be weak things weak things there are people who conquered because of the interpretation of a dream Joseph overcame because of interpretation if the Bible was only for people with strength, then we would have 66 Samsons from Genesis to Revelation. But we have dream interpreters. And we have people who concentrated on God. God gave them wisdom. They used the wisdom to gain victory. We have the Caleb's. We have the David's who access the presence of God through worship. And after worshiping God, they were made shepherds. And after becoming a shepherd, they overcome a Goliath with a stone. We have the Moses who had nothing. God asked them, what do you have in your heart? The, the only thing he had is there was a stick. What do you have in your heart? Your victory lies in whatever you have in your heart. It may look as a weak weapon to people. But it is a mighty weapon in the hand of God. Just place it in the hand of God. Just allow God to use it. Because he's the one who chose you. And he gave you that thing. If only maybe 
mistreated people. That this blind man was put where who Jesus made clay and put in his eyes and who told him to go to Shalem, he wouldn't have been healed. But if only medicine healed people, Naaman's leprosy would not go. But look, God uses just a house car. Give him direction. And he did not give them direction to God of Israel. Elisha said, let him know there is a prophet of God in Israel. See, to this. Everything you are disguising or everything that you're criticizing think that it cannot help you that is why your strength is embedded that is why you have to start from oh that's some weakness you have is why you have to be empowered and you kick start from there and you start to overcome that is how the warriors overcome they do not overcome on this one day God has given us so many examples in our lives. You give birth to a child. And you see them grow. When they reach on the stage of walking. And you see them trying to walk. And they fall. And they cry a little. And you think they will give up. After five minutes, you see them rising up again. They still fall. You give them a few minutes. You think they are going to give up. It is a first parent that says, No, you want to walk again, just sit there. He shall not walk. There are people that think that their papa, their papa will be that parent. Please, please, no. If you're falling, they tell you, Stand up. Rise up, try again. 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 That is how warriors are made. You cannot be able to face the battle of two people today. But it's just a matter of time that's going to come. You will not be able to overcome people. But you will be able to overcome the people with their horses. Why is a prayer warrior? My God, I'm forgetting his name. But he was a prayer warrior. Maybe you remind me. He used to pray. And one day, one of the queens of England made a statement and said, I don't fear the army of England. But I fear the prayers of that man. More than I fear the army of England. It was the only weapon from God, prayer. He said, I don't fear the army. It was the very thing that was the Syrian. And they said, Do we have any spy amid his task? And they said, No. Elisha. Elisha, God reveals them to, to them even the things that are in your bedroom. God chose us. And we should not settle for yesterday's success. If you've built one house, that's not enough. God was just showing you that you have a capability that you can construct a house. You have not yet constructed a house, it's not enough. It is a reason to show that if, you can be, if you're able to rent a house, you can also construct one in Jesus' mighty name. Do not rely. Little efforts on a daily 
basis gives greater achievements compared to no effort at all. If you choose to improve yourself 1% on a daily basis, at the end of the year you will have improved 365%. That improvement and achievement is very big. If you choose to increase only by 1% on a daily basis, by the end of the year, you will have increased 365%. You are gifted. You are gifted. But you must choose to improve yourself on a daily basis. You have been gifted, but you must choose to improve yourself on a daily basis. Warriors choose to improve themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. If you say that I'm, I'm, I'm only going to offer 1,000, let me even get to that point. If you say that my offertory is only one thousand, even if God gives you quite a good amount of money, you are used to the one thousand. You always carry on that level. But the day you will challenge yourself to say, I'm going to offer in 5,000, God will upgrade you to that level. If you say that now 10,000, it will be so. The only reason as to why you're not yet on that level of offering in 10,000 because you lag behind. You decide. You decide to conform yourself on that 1,000. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, believers. Hallelujah, believers. Hallelujah, believers. Now, Amen. Just say, Amen. They are the amens are minimized. You have to decide. You have to decide. And if you decide, all things are possible. Raise up on your feet. Father, we bless your name. We worship you. We honor you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your goodness and your mercies. Receive all the glory, honor, and praise. You're turning us into warriors. You chose us to be victors. You chose us to be warriors. We are glad that you have loved us and you are making us more than conquerors in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you. We give you glory. Let there be a man you uplift. Let there be a lady you uplift. And you take them from that level and you take them to another level. We worship you and glorify your name in Jesus' mighty name, Son of the living God. Rise up your hands and say, I choose I choose to be a warrior. I choose not to settle for the status quo. I choose to go for greater heights in the name of Jesus Christ. I choose to have the best in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Say with a lot of vigor. But if you do not take your breakfast, say I have decided I am more than a conqueror. In Jesus' name, I have decided I am on the call in Jesus' name. I am going to carry behind. I am going to cry. 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 I am going to cry.
Yonabizika Yonabizika Yonabizika